Good afternoon. Welcome to the Channel 8 Newsroom. Dave Cravastia here. Appreciate you stopping by 8newsnow.com. Metro Police sending out letters to any shopper who may have been there on the day and at the time a man was shot back in July. They're still looking for more eyewitness accounts and they still don't have a bead on uh, the video that was supposedly taken that day. And also the inquest on whether those officers were justified is still on hold indefinitely. We'll bring you up to date on that uh, controversial case. People standing in line around the block trying to get their uh, unemployment benefits reinstated today. We'll tell you how that's going. It's uh, quite the rush of people down there. Some changes in the work card rules too. It seems now that if you are charged with a crime, you don't necessarily uh, lose those work card privileges. We'll tell you about that. The coroner's office uh, involved in the, its 28th exhumation of unidentified bodies trying to match uh, a name and a face uh, with the DNA. We'll tell you how that program is going. A hula hoop protest downtown. City Council thinking about banning certain activities downtown, including apparently hula hoops. Uh, looks like they tabled the idea for now, but we'll tell you how that works out. And uh, Wednesday's child today, a 13-year-old girl named Amanda, who really, really, really wants it forever home. Maybe you can help out. Those stories and a lot more coming up on our news from 4 to 6.30. Hope you'll be watching. See you then.